What is up everybody? Today I'm going to be giving you three tips to keep your baskets looking pretty all summer long. Stay tuned. Now maybe this past spring uh, you picked out a hanging basket at your local garden center or maybe you just got one for Mother's Day and it was really really pretty when you got it but now you're a little nervous getting into summer because it's not looking as great well one thing that's happened to it is it's becoming more and more root bound and to compensate for that we have to water heavy especially at these hot days so here at the nursery one thing that we do is we water heavy so we'll actually water our baskets until they're dripping out of the bottom. That's really important to do. See, I just filled it up and now it's starting to flood out the bottom. That's what you wanna see almost every single day, especially something like a lantana basket. But this also applies to petunia baskets, cali baskets, verbena baskets, whatever you might have, any kind of annual. That's what you wanna see through the summer. Now, tip number two, is you have to cut your baskets back especially if you've grown a basket with uh, verbenas petunias or callies these tend to look really really pretty there in the spring but by the time you get to summer they start getting what they call hard stemmed you see this petunia here I mean, this basket still looks pretty decent but it's starting to look a little bit raggedy you can see it's getting a little bit leggy the petunias don't quite have as much blooms on them and the foliage is looking a little stringy this is when you need to cut it back now for this step you don't have to have fancy equipment i've just got a pair of scissors here and i'm going to cut about six to eight inches off this whole thing it's going to look kind of weird when i get done it's not going to be the prettiest thing in the world but if you just follow through with these steps i promise you it's going to flush out and look beautiful later on There you go. Tip number three, you gotta feed your baskets. They're starving for nutrients right now with them becoming more and more root bound and the more water you pour out on them, the more nutrients that leach out. So what I like to do is use a liquid feed. Osmocode and the slow release fertilizers don't quite do the job. You should already be feeding your baskets about once a week for maintenance. But in this stage, right after you cut them back, I like to mix it up a little bit stronger and I like to give them fertilizer a little more frequently. Now for this demonstration, I'm using the fertilizer that we sell here at the nursery. Uh, it's a 2010-20 blend that we really like, we've had a lot of success with. But just go out to your local garden center and see what they recommend. If you've already got an all-purpose fertilizer such as miracle Grow, you can use that. That works well too. I'm going to go ahead and mix up. I got this exaggerated spoon, it's not a real tablespoon, but I'm mixing up a little stronger today since we just cut this basket up. I'm going to add a couple of those, grab my hose, fill this bad boy on up, and I'm going to pour a lot of this in here, again watering until it drips out the bottom. And after you cut your baskets back, you want to do this at least two or three times a week. Uh, feed your basket. Now again, this looks puny. It doesn't look anything like when you first got it. But if you'll do these three steps, there we go. We got the water dripping now. That's what you want to see. If you'll do these three steps, about 10 days to two weeks after this process, the blooms will start flushing out and your basket will actually look more beautiful than when you got it. 
Now I do want to note here that not all baskets necessarily need to be cut back, such as ferns and geraniums. No need to really cut those back. The important thing is that you keep feeding them very heavy and water them very heavy. As a matter of fact, ferns at this stage cannot be over watered. So you don't have to worry about over watering these. And lastly, if you, found, if you find that you're just having to water way, way too much, go ahead and repot your baskets. Even the ones that you cut back, if you just don't want to water so much, I would repot them. Uh, most baskets come in like an 11 inch pot. Repot it into something like a 14 inch container and you won't have to water near as much. If you follow these tips, your baskets will look pretty all summer long. And guess what? I'm going to do a follow up video with this one. I'm going to personally take care of it just the way I've showed you in this video and hopefully in a couple of weeks it's going to be beautiful. Here's the before. I'll do another video doing the after. If you haven't done so, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and notification bell where you can get notified every single time we release a video and please comment down below what you'd like to see us doing a video on next. Until next time, see you in the greenhouse.